No worries, mate. Thanks again to uh, HW, 73 fella. To Echo One Hotel, Juliet Whiskey, listen. So something that I've always wondered is how well can we disguise antennas, especially for HF? Now, if you live in an area where you can't install antennas, or at least antennas that are on show, that can be a real problem, especially if you're into ham radio. Now, I'm fortunate enough to be able to install an N-fed half-wave through this tree and up horizontal to a sporting pole. But what if I wasn't actually able to do that? If I wasn't allowed to install antennas up in the air, whether it's government restrictions or household restrictions or even maybe a partner doesn't want antennas on show. So I started thinking about, well, what about the end of my garden? What could I do to hide and conceal a multi-band HF antenna? And then it made me think about this fence that I have here. Now this goes all the way along. I'm not entirely sure how long it is as I've not measured it as of yet. However, what you will notice is this, this wire. So let me show you first what it's connected to. Now, excuse all this vegetation. I really need to get the streamer out and chop some of this back before it gets too long, especially if it starts growing up in front of my satellite dish. Now at the feed point, I'm using one of these. Now this is just a basic, simple nine to one unun that you can purchase pretty much anywhere. And with the antenna wire coming out on the right, and then the left side termination point is connected to a piece of wire, which is then attached to a copper rod pounded into the ground. So in essence, it's my earth terminal. Now this came with 41 meters of wire, and that is exactly what I'm using here. In fact, I couldn't get 41 meters of wire in the air neatly with the size of my garden, even if I wanted to. So this is kind of the next best thing. So the wire goes from the unun across the top of the fence. And of course, if you wanted to, you can try shorter lengths of wire and just use an ATU, whether it's external or using one built into your radio. The wire goes across the top of this fence all the way down to the corner. Now here, I'm just going in front of this corner bush. And if it was going to be a permanent installation, then I'll take it behind the bush, right snug up to the corner where those two fences meet. As you can see, or maybe not, you can't even see the wire mounted on top of the smaller fence. It's hidden quite well. The wire then goes down the length of this fence here. And again, as you can see, it's pretty disguised. Now, if we take a little walk down to the end, we can see exactly how I've temporarily attached it to the fence. Now, it comes down at a right angle here, and then another right angle, and then back along the fence. Now, remember, this is 41 meters of wire, so it's rather long. At this end, it just feeds off to an insulator just to keep that cable taut. So, the question is, will this work? To me, it's rather hard to see, even how I have it mounted just for testing. Now, if you wanted to do a permanent installation, then you could even paint the wire with like non-metallic paint. With the wire coming back towards the house, there is a potential to pick up more man-made noise. But then again, if you lived in a built-up area, then you wouldn't be able to get away from that anyway. Now, let's head into the shack and connect this up to an SDR receiver to see how well it works. Now, my expectations are that the higher bands are going to work better right now as it's the middle of the afternoon. So we might have to wait until a bit later this evening to test the lower bands like 80 meters or 160 meters on 1.9 megahertz. Now just keep an eye on the top left of the screen. Antenna A is going to be the wire antenna connected to the fence and antenna B is my end fed half wave antenna, the antenna that I normally use for HF. I will be switching between the two so that I can kind of get an A and B comparison. Uh, 
I will log you at QRChat.com later today, Brian. Uh, 73, take care. All the best, uh, Brian, from LB, Walt Sugar Fox. Okay, Kilo November 6, turn off Whiskey Tango. Line 7 foot, 8 foot long wind, uh, and I put a nice big window in it uh, and made it into my shack. So that was the deal. The kids go to the bedroom, uh, and I go to the walk in wardrobe as the shack because uh, I used to be planted in the kitchen, <laughs> and it was hopelessly, absolutely hopeless. Uh, I, I'm rambling, uh, and I've went off course, so that I, I started off talking about way over. Two Echo Zero, X-Ray Golf Oscar, is that correct? Yeah, Roger, on that one, yeah, it's uh, Two Echo Zero X-Ray Golf Oscar, which uh, is up on the west coast of Cumbria, and uh, we have worked before earlier in the month, uh, just got us to uh, come and say hello, and uh, let you know you're doing um, 10 dB over 9 up into uh, West Cumbria, aren't you? Yeah, no one. Yeah, 2E1 HGW, 2E0 XGO. Yeah, nice to see the sun out there. It's about time it, uh, about time it showed its face and there's a little bit of warmth into, uh, into the ground. But um, yeah, and uh, been enjoying the last couple of days. Did a couple of sort of activities yesterday. It was lovely up on the mountain, on the floor. So I think from that test, it proves that having a wire antenna mounted in such a fashion can work. What's also surprising is that there was not really much in it, maybe a few dB depending on the band. Of course, these types of wire antennas are designed to be mounted high up in the air, especially when working DX. In fact, having the antenna lower to the ground almost makes this quite suitable for NVIS, which is Near Vertical Incident Skywave, meaning contact should be easier within only a few hundred miles. Now, HF conditions were not even that great today, and they most certainly are not good this evening. Now, take a look at 80 meters on both the NFED half wave and the fence antenna to see what I mean. Now for those of you that are interested, here is the VSWR plot from 1 MHz up to 30 MHz. Now we can clearly see here that the SWR is way below 3 from 3 to 30 MHz, meaning an internal ATU would have no problem tuning this antenna ready for transmitting. Now, if you find this video useful and you like content like this, then please don't forget you can hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. Also, if you use a stealth antenna, then let me know down in the comments below. I'll be really interested to learn about what you guys are using to conceal your antennas. There's so many ideas out there, including things like drain pipes or trees or anything that can conceal an HF antenna. Until the next video, stay safe. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, and if you haven't already, go check out my new tech gadgets channel and it's called Matt's Gadgets. I'll link that below. A sub and a video watch would be much appreciated. Take care.